Welcome back to Drive World. And today I wanted to show you how to complete all the quests so you can unlock the final car in the Halloween Pass. To start off, we have the five parts in the USA map, which if you need help on this, you can go back to the update video or I'll have it in the description. And the other pretty easy quests are beating the Shadow Racers. For this, all you need to do is just do the races and beat them and you'll complete these quests. And now onto some of the more difficult quests. We have hit 600 boost pads, score 15,000 miles in speed traps, earn 200,000 drive score, and smash 2,000 pumpkins. And I'll be showing you the easiest way to complete all these challenges right now. To start off, I'd recommend you doing the around the world path with the fastest car you have. When doing this, make sure to hit all the boost pads and hit all the speed traps. This will help you get a little bit further in those quests as well. But the first challenge you want to complete is scoring 15,000 miles in speed traps. And if you're unsure on how to do the around the world path, you can go to the around the world race and ask one of your friends to do this race with you. Once you completed this, I'd recommend you switch over to the 600 boost pads. And the best way I've found to do this is to head over to the Japan map. Once you're Japan, you'll want to go into the map and then go to the top right to Mega Ramp. Once you're here, you're going to want to use your fastest drag car, which mine is the Inferno. Once you teleport, make sure to slow down enough so you don't go over any boost pads, and then you can floor all the way down. Once you reach the last boost pad, you'll want to go into the map and teleport back up to Mega Ramp. As you can see, there's a speed trap at the end of this, but it's not really worth it because the drive score is so high, so you'll just have to be grinding speed traps no matter what. So I say grind the speed traps before this just because it's easier. Each time you do this, it'll give you 11 boost pads. And with how easy this is, it won't take long. Once you complete the boost pads, you can now move on to the drive score. Now, if you want to do the drive score before the boost pads, you can do this, but I find that there's such little boost pads around the map that the drive score doesn't really matter to do before or after. And in my opinion, I'd say that the drive score is probably the most annoying out of all these quests now. But you'll want to come back to the round the world path and repeat this over and over again until you complete this quest. Once you finally reach 200,000 drive score, you can now move on to smashing 2,000 pumpkins. I'll start off with the first method that most people do is you'll need to switch to off-road tires first and head over to the maze right over here on the map. And then there's a whole bunch of pumpkins in here you can smash, but it's kind of hard to get a whole bunch here. And it takes a lot more focus than some of the other methods. But if you find this method works the best for you, you're gladly able to do it. But the method that I found to be the most reliable and easiest to do is heading over to drag strip and make sure you're on race tires. And with your fastest car, you'll want to hit these pumpkins and then hit these pumpkins. And by the time you get back over to these, they'll be replenished and you'll be able to hit them again. Another thing you can do to make this even easier is using the recording tool and placing your car right here next to the pumpkins. When heading back, you'll see exactly where the pumpkins spawn again, so you can just go back over them again. And from what I've heard from other people, it takes around an hour to complete this quest. Now with the weekly challenges done, you'll still have to do the daily challenges for 10 days so you can unlock the full pass. Starting off with the first quest, you'll have to do 10 food deliveries. Fastest way to complete this that I've found is either going into the map and going to jobs and clicking deliver food or in the quest tab you'll see a teleport button and if you click that it'll teleport you to a random food place and you can complete it through that as well and the same exact thing goes for the four trailer deliveries now into the next daily quest you have 4,000 air score this is probably the easiest daily quest because most of the time you'll just be getting air score while completing the other dailies or weeklies and with all the jumps around the map it's really easy to get air score and if you mix in doing boost pads at mega ramp with this you'll be getting air score at the end of the ramp also a lot of the off-road races will have a whole bunch of jumps in them so while trying to complete your shadow race quest, you'll probably be getting air score as well. On to the next daily quest, we have drift score. If you have the money, I definitely recommend you getting the go-kart or the particle. Both of these are really good options for getting drift score as they just drift really well. And for this, all you need to do is hold spacebar or press the handbrake button on phone and you'll be getting drift score. On to the next quest, we have smash score. And with all the pumpkins around the map, this is pretty easy to complete. But if you don't want to hit the pumpkins, if you head over to this beach area, there's a whole bunch of things you can hit and you'll get a lot of smash score over here. Just keep driving driving back and forth and in no time you'll end up having all the smash score completed and for the next daily quest this is probably the easiest to understand that's play 15 minutes and all you'll need to do is just sit in game for 15 minutes doing whatever you want and you'll complete this quest and with that you'll have a free five tickets and on to the next one you have play 10 races the easiest way to complete this quest is to either do drag strips on any of the maps or doing one fourth drag on race world and if you don't have anyone else to race with you can do the races at the top of the screen unfortunately shadow races don't work with this quest so you're gonna have to do those those two other options and now on to the second last daily quest we have is drive 50 miles this quest is exactly the same as the drive score you'll just have to do the round the world path over and over again until you complete the 50 miles either this daily quest or finish 10 food deliveries are the hardest daily quests to do and now into the final daily quest we have 4,500 miles in speed trap and just like before you'll have to do the round the world path again but if you have a fast car like the inferno this should only take around 15 speed traps before you'll complete the challenge and in just 10 days of daily challenges you'll have the new pagani 
And with that being said, I think that's going to be the end of this video. Let me know down in the comments if this helped you at all. And I'll see you in the next video.